to Sean and he's going to demonstrate what we're going to go ahead and do for cellists at the beginning of, uh, of my process. So Sean, will you please take a chair? Now he isn't going to adjust the end pin. That was a different different video. He's already adjusted to this. Show why it's correct for you, Sean. The ear and the, the yeah. See, it's about the right right spot. Okay. So now, and and if you'll notice, the cello is at a slight angle to Sean's body. So we're now ready to go ahead and describe exactly what we would like to do for this week's practice. So a practice session should be based on. Um, doing long bows based on your age, so starting from the uh, as close to your hand on it and bring it all the way to the tip. Very good. So watch, go ahead, he's starting on the C string. Now Sean is 13, but we're going to just have him do like four and then he'll. Sean. Okay, so now the next thing they would do is he would practice the different rhythms on each string. So let's do pepperoni pizza just for the sake of our argument. Great, and why don't you do yum yum peanut butter? Thank you. And then, of course, you would do some of the other rhythms. Now, we can also make up a rhythm. So, um, Sean, will you clap just an arbitrary rhythm? Good. Now he's going to play that rhythm. So, yeah. And do you see he was he was moving on to the next string, and I interrupted him. Go ahead. Good. And so basically what Sean is doing is just practicing bowing on each string and bowing different rhythm patterns as it occurs to him. Now the last thing that we would do is we would also do a thing with a rhythm book. So the thing is, um, and of course I didn't set anything up. Sean, walk back over by the painting. There is a rhythm book. You'll see it right on top. See it? Perfect. So come on over here, grab a stand, put it in front of you. Sorry for the delay in the video, everyone. Um, we're going to go ahead, and he's just going to play. Um, why don't you play line B? Now, line B, of course, is already written in so that he knows exactly what the rhythms are going to be on, on line B. So at, um, let's clap it first. So he's going to clap it first. Great. Now he's going to play that same rhythm. What string should I use? Uh, doesn't matter. Just pick one, but just use an open string. And what he would do is he would continue clapping the next line and then playing it, clapping, playing, etc., etc. And then at the very end of his practice, he would just do some more long bows based on his age per string. And, of course, he doesn't have to demonstrate that because we've already done that. Thank you very much.